All right, so it's about 35 pounds without the batteries. It's all closed up. So here we have the motor controller and screen. Those were sold together. Also, I have the two battery adapters, a thumb throttle, and the electric wheel hub motor. notched squared off I don't know if you can see that it's about that shape so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this room off we're gonna notch it so that this fits the only problem is this wheel is about seven and a half inches it was the only closest one I could find this one was said to be seven inches so I thought maybe only a quarter inch means we need to notch the legs of the wheel mount 3 8 to a half inch deeper than the factory hole. Also, we need to notch the back side of the cross support to allow the wheel to slide all the way in without rubbing. Very nice. All right, so I did a test hookup of everything to make sure it works, and it works. Uh, just two minor little issues that we had, and that was the throttle did not match up with the harness from the motor controller. So basically, I cut that off and then I wired it here, but the colors don't match. So I took a chance, I did the black to the black, the red to the red, and I put the green to the white. And it worked. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. So this was supposed to be for the throttle cable. And the next problem was the motor ran in reverse. The instruction manual, and it says to uh, remove with it with it on. You remove the harness from the hub to the motor controller, and then just replug it in while it's on, and it will set the default to the opposite direction. So I removed it, put it back on, and it worked. So those two things. That was it. Screen came with it, so I just plugged this into the into the harness matched up. The positive and negative just went here. Negative, positive to my um, batteries, which are wired in a series. So we did boom, boom, ready to go. That worked fine. And also we have these three green, blue, and yellow, and the colors match up from the hub. Here, the 
harness matched up and so did the blue, green, and yellow. And that was plug and play. So what I plan on doing now is I got this electrical box, just a standard electric box from Home Depot. And I'm gonna fit the motor controller in it. Um, oh, I'm also just connected. There's a lot of wires in here that I did not need to get for cruise control and uh, other things that I'm not gonna use. So I'm just gonna move these out of the way.
ready to go. So here's test one. I'm letting the wagon do all the work. I'm not even pulling the handle. And I got my son and three cases of water, which is about 130 pounds total. Went up the slope with little effort. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you found any value in this at all, consider tapping the like button to help out the YouTube channel. Thanks. Hope to see you guys on the next one.